<laughs> this man, this man turns it into controversy. <laughs> bro, there's no controversy, bro. There's no, I'm not trying to get We're taking cabbages. shots at moms, bro, cultures, bro, UK dissies. Bro, there's no controversy at all. So speaking of my in-laws, I'm looking at your hair, my brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at your hair. I don't Yo, know. I'm in Dubai, yeah, bro. You... Yo, I don't see no ring. I don't, I don't see no, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see no wedding band. I don't see yeah. no ring. You're Except, doing exactly what <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, does do before you. <laughs> it's hard for me to. Yo, take as soon as I bring up the marriage topic, it's. <laughs> Dude, my mom better not watch this. <laughs> yo, yo, if your mom and she's watching this, <laughs> shadi kara Please stop. She just, she doesn't stop. She, she doesn't stop. <laughs> you can't talk to this, your parents. I already, that was one of my. Well, concerts. you've done that already. It didn't work. Oh, but yeah, we had to walk five miles to get water, and I'm like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm gonna but push is there any that. emphasis on happiness? It's a bit like when people get arranged marriages or they get married to someone yeah. they all oh, but you will love them after marriage are you supposed to be happy like well, like you know yeah, we've gone back full circle like, are, you, because... well, are we supposed to be happy <laughs> how did bomb diggy bomb like how did where did that come from like those words i've never said this i've never really yeah, admitted yeah. it I've, I've never admitted wow, this wow i love this guy's chai talk exclusive <laughs> and then i know bollywood took it into it too but then you were telling me like they stole it is that the right way to show i don't know how much no nah, i mean to be fair we can say that Oh, ladies and gentlemen, wow. As you guys can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are not in our normal setup. Let's just say Chai Talk has gone international. <laughs> Chai Talk has gone international. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another very special episode of Chai Talk. We got none other than, to my left, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Zach Knight. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! Adam, you gotta clap for us. You're our, you're our applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, he's our applause. He's there like the go. guy. That, you know the boxing, oh, you know yeah. the boxing comment. What's it? The boxing intro. Guy? Yeah, 500 then, pounds in yeah. the corner. Weighing in all the way from the UK, United Kingdom. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Anyways, man, how you doing, man? How you feeling? I'm good. Like, I'm good. I'm I just want to say thank you for joining and saying being on this Chai Talk podcast for us and taking the time out of your day, man, means a lot. I know you're super busy, of course. You're in Dubai, but guys, we're in Dubai right now. We linked up Adam and Zach. We're actually shooting a music video, which we can get into a little bit yeah. more, a little bit into it. But how you doing, man? Talk to us. I'm good. I'm good. It's yeah. good to like not be doing anything yeah. in my day, just just enjoying just the weather and yeah. yeah just... I like that. I like that. I we like don't that. get a chance to have many holidays. I know. I always know. Always grinding. And exactly. Stuff, you know? This guy's always working. I want to tell you guys actually. So we this is our first time meeting. Um, we met two days ago, right? We met on his shoe, um, and bro, I feel like we, I feel like we know, I feel like we know each other, bro. We're just like, 100%. we're like, bro, we started talking about so much, and I'm like, I'm like, you yo, was like trying to direct the video. I was like, I was like, Adam, who's this guy? Yeah, he's like, who's this guy? Who's I had a channel my inner Sanjay Lila Binsali. That's what I said, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was genuine guys, man. I just want to first off start off by saying, bro, I just feel like you were super humble, down to earth, even from all the success that you've had from all your songs and whatnot, but I just feel like we're all able to connect and just kind of like vibe out and talk. Bro, we were talking so much and I'm like, yo, yo, save it for the podcast, <laughs> we should, bro. We should have filmed the whole thing. <laughs> I was like, yo, literally, yeah. this guy's telling me stories on stories. Yeah. I'm like, yo, chill, save yeah. it for the podcast. But um, anyway, so tell us what you're doing out here in Dubai. Let's well, start from we're there. shooting the, we shoot, we're shooting yep. the, track, uh, okay. the track. I'm not going to say the name of the track because, okay. gotcha. you know, I'm trying to offend anyone. But no, we got a, <laughs> we got a track coming out. Uh, me and yes. Adam Saleh, we just, yes. we, uh, we shot a video. Got you. Um, and then I was trying to do another video. Okay. Because, you know, the work don't stop, it right? Never stops, gotta, bro. It never stops. Never stops. Never stops. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just to shoot in and then gotcha. trying try to get a mini holiday. Yeah, why not? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but because the thing is with music, it's like it's, it's, a, it's a visual thing. Like if, yeah. if you don't feel inspired, there's yeah. no point making music. Got you. And you, I feel like traveling is definitely one of those things where it inspires you to kind of like. I think it's the cheat code element. to yeah, like feeling, feeling, mo feeling like coming up yeah. with new ideas. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm telling him to come to Pakistan next. I'm actually going to Pakistan after this. So, uh, yeah, man, inshallah, you got to come out one of these days. I mean, yeah, I, I, it's, for me, it's been a couple of years, but I just want to say I listen to their song and it is fire but all I me mean, all of his songs are so good but yo this one's honestly fire like the yeah. like the genre that you guys are d diving into with this one and like the rap part the singing part yeah. dude it's sick it's sick. nah for sure and and to be honest props because props to adam because yeah. he was kind of the he's the reason why he even even came out here to shoot the video because oh, really i didn't Imagine. even believe in the song really but he was like bro i'm i'm playing it to like all these you know all these girls and guys yeah, and girls yeah. being girls being our biggest kind of listenership yeah, you know they yeah, for sure. they kind of they're the trend setters what can yeah. i say the 
the taste makers, we call yeah. it. Okay, the ones you. that choose got you. The, yeah. the songs that work. So when you play it to like a couple of different got you. females, okay, they just they just know yeah. when that which one like hits them. Facts. Okay. So would you say actually that that would you say that you kind of when you're making a song, do you think about that and you're catering towards the female audience? If you if I don't know if you remember those those uh, MTV documentaries where uh, they used yeah. to have like rappers and then girls yeah. in the studio. Yeah. And it's that female energy that yeah. just. You just know instantly if it's hitting that demographic, sure. and, and you want to hit that demographic, you'd say, right? Because yeah. they're the ones that I think move the the far fastest. Yeah, the guys kind of just yeah. follow along. They're kind of like, oh, honestly, that's so true. Because I feel like a lot of the people that do tune in, even to my content, I think it's a lot of females given given my family, given Mama G. You know, I feel like a lot of people do tune into that. But I've never thought, of, I never know knew if that's a good thing or like a bad thing. If you want more female, you know, what I'm saying because you're, but you're right. You think that they drive the kind of attention right i they feel like drive they're the... more uh, in tune with their emotions yeah facts okay so then they they yeah. kind of they're they're more decisive when yeah. it comes to things like music and yeah, art yeah. and movies facts yeah wow that's actually dope because guys i feel like honestly yeah guys just like we're like okay, logical like that's cool and just keep it pushing or like yeah. that's like yeah, yeah they're not gonna really like we're not i don't yeah. know if we're all that emotionally in touch and yeah we kind of we don't make decisions based on how yeah. we feel. We're Thanks. actually, we're, I mean, I don't want to get cancelled. I know, right? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> this isn't about we, guys and girls. Okay, no, yeah. no, no, we're not getting cancelled, guys. Yeah. Trust me, we've had a lot of controversial yeah. topics on here. You're just you've me. had plenty of that. You I don't need already had a lot. I was getting, <laughs> I was telling him I was getting cooked just because like the people saw a clip of me and my mom and like going. I don't know if you saw that clip, but I saw. Yeah, I think everyone saw it. <laughs> yeah, everyone saw it. Saw it. <laughs> oh, by the way, make sure not to press this because then it might mute us. Yeah. So I just want to, yeah. Unless oh, okay, no, it looks good. Just don't press that. Yeah, yeah. I just want to give you a heads up. Shout out to your mom, by the way. Oh yeah. They, dude, she, yeah, I'm missing you, Mama G. I don't know, I'm on vacation. She's the real star. She's the real Mama star. G, I always say this, man. Mama G is genuinely the real star. And I just, I love that so many, like, the, our clips and our podcast kind of reached a lot of people. Would you? And I feel like a lot of, even like the UK audience, I feel 100%. like a lot of people. My are cousins just, were talking about it. I saw a commenting on it. I was just like, oh, no why, is it, why is my family getting involved here? Yeah, like, that's, oh, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> they were even commenting yeah. on it. And the my, my own family members were commenting, like, going in, like, having deep, Really? Yeah, deep oh, wow. combos in the comment section. Bro, because it created a lot of like, it created a lot of topics that we never discussed between parents and between kids, right? Yeah. People, And you know what it is? It's like a lot of kids feel a certain way, but they've never able to express it or they've never had someone come out and say these things, Yeah. right? And I feel like I was able to come out and say these things and it kind of just struck a chord with everybody, right? Yeah. yeah I, think, I think that's kind of what Everyone it was. Everyone can kind of relate yeah. to that in yeah. so many different ways. Yeah, 100%, 100%. From both sides. Yeah, 100% from both sides as well. And shout out to my mom again, Momoji. Obviously, you're going to be watching this, but thank you again for even like being that cool mom to even come on the podcast and do that. Because I know a lot of... Dude, are, I tried to get my parents once yeah. to be in like one of my back behind the scenes videos yeah. and they yeah. were like, we need to know the time and dates. We need to be prepared and oh, like get my hair yeah. done. My dad no needs way. to like... like yeah. My dad was down, but like yeah. it was just, it was a lot of A lot goes into it. Same with, I mean, my mom's really, she's super cool and she just, she's always loved to be in front of the camera. So I feel like that's, that's helped us along. I mean, we'll get into parents and all that too as well. But taking it back to the music process. So I actually watched him and Adam kind of finishing the song that they're working on. And I was sitting there and like making music is such, and we were talking about it. We were having a deep yeah. conversation within it. It's such a beautiful process. And watching you do that, watching you guys do that, I'm like, it's like genuinely, bro. It's like watching a genius at work when you're actually like, cause we were even talking about like, how do you just come up with this sound? How do you know what to say? And how do you like know what tunes are going to work? What, what lyrics are going to work? Or like yeah. what's going to resonate with an audience and like kind of put it together and like these little details you listen to. So, when, how do you go about making, make like, you want to make a new song? How do you go about that? Where do you start from? Like, it, well, just to answer the kind of the first yeah. thing you're talking about, like, it's all about the feeling. It needs to feel right. Like, yeah. we don't, the thing is, and we kind of talked about it, but there's, there shouldn't be any thinking involved, yeah. especially with art. Yeah. It's, it's very like music is like yeah. based on a feeling. Yeah. And if you think, if you try and like reverse engineer yeah. it, you know, you're in, yeah, you're yeah, in the law practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all, we're all educated to yeah, some degree. Yeah, we always try and find a formula, but yeah. I don't think there is any formula. It's just if it feels right and you're yeah. feeling like, let's say happy or sad or whatever, yeah. and you just go with that. It works. And let's say if you're sad and you want to, you know, then there's like chords that you can write. Yeah. You, this music that you can make that's kind of very sad, like with yeah. the strings and stuff like that. So and certain... A lot of it, would you say it's emotions? Like if you're feeling a certain thing, a certain time, obviously in that life or whatever it may be, do you kind of like well, draw for me, from that? For me, that's why I did music in yeah. the first place was because it was like an escape. I was, you know, I was getting a bit bullied yeah. at school and yeah. it was like my, it was the only thing that made me feel like I had, it was therapy. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Wow. It, yeah. was, like, it was better than talking to my parents about yeah. my problems because they would just be like, 
back. Yeah, but we used to. You can't. I mean, we, you, you, we don't can't want to get down that you, road. You can't talk to this your parents. I already that was one of my. Clothes. Well, you've done that already. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh, but yeah, we had to walk five miles to get water, and I'm like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bro, literally, it's like you can't. Yeah, that was one of the biggest things. Like you can't. Wait, talk I'm, to I'm confusing an advert with my, my dad. No, my dad used to say stuff yeah. like he used to. Yeah, get like hit and all sorts yeah. of things. Like we've got it easy, bro. Yeah, they would say our school. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, my school teacher would hit me back. Yeah, yeah like they, their stories are crazy. We're just lucky. Yeah, we're even, yeah, we're crazy. lucky. We're in this country and we've got Facts. all the benefits of yeah, this yeah, and that. A few words being thrown at us, <laughs> thrown at us is nothing. But isn't it crazy that like even when we try to bring it up or we try to talk to them, or open up to them about certain things. They're going to relate it back to them. Yeah, and like, yeah, they're always yeah. going to relate it back to them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think in a way they think they're trying to make us feel better because yeah. it's like, oh, but that's nothing because yeah. we went through even worse. Yeah. But in a way, it doesn't show any empathy towards exactly. what we've been through. <laughs> Bro, this is so crazy because he's from the UK. I'm from the States, right? But we're all like, Pakistan is yeah. everywhere. Yeah. We're the same. There's a universal code of conduct. Bro, yeah. <laughs> but no, South Asians, this, these brown parents, brown, like, Bro, we're all the same at the end of the day. Yeah. It's so crazy. We grew up in completely separate sides of the world, yeah. right? In the world. And like, had it, hats off to how they kept things consistent amongst their <laughs> upbringing. Because <laughs> yeah, even exactly. the people who didn't grow up, even yeah. the ones in the Asian, the Pakistan or the yeah. Indian diaspora, yeah. they still adopted the same yeah. values as the people back home. Bro, tell me this. In the UK, is it the same where you guys have like, the, like a lot of Daisy films have the same plates? Do you guys have like the same plates and the yeah. same blankets what, and the, the blue, same, the blue and like the floral little floral designs yeah, yeah, or little yeah. stuff oh, like maybe that? Maybe yeah. they just like the same yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's like I feel like within Desi culture, it's like if one person does it, it's like everybody kind of latches on to that and they all have the same stuff. It's like they all went to the same school or something. Yeah, it's hilarious. We're it's all hilarious. like copycats. It's literally hilarious. It's a bit like when you show your friends like yeah, uh, the, yeah, yeah. we know about. But, okay, but going back to the music. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was watching him kind of conduct that and that art, and it was just like. It was genuinely a beautiful thing to see, but you're saying that for you, music was an escape, and that's kind of how you kind of like got into it. Like, how old were you when you started? Yeah, I was like 12, 13. 12. Okay, gotcha. Um, and yeah, came up, came up from school, and then I had like a bit of an identity crisis because yeah. I was the only brown kid in school. So yeah. I, I kind of, I think a, a lot of us we find we try and, we try and find significance, like yeah. what makes it, what's going to make us feel important or feel yeah. good about ourselves, yeah. and that was the music thing for music, me. And yeah. just making music and then going back to school and playing playing my friends' the songs, and yeah. all of a sudden they started to like respect me. Yeah, yeah. wow. Because like when you know people like a yeah. bit of ta in school, everyone's like to show off, or of course, they, of course, the talented of kid always gets all the limelight. Yeah. yeah. When did you know that you can sing though? Like like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, well, we did. I didn't. I, I was I was doing assembly in school, and then yeah. the, the teacher started. I started at the back of the assembly. Uh -huh. at the, there was like a choir, and I was yeah. at the back. And then I, I used I used to just sing louder than everyone else, and gotcha. I eventually made my way to, to the, the front, front of the assembly. And I'm then sure. at the, at one point, I was just opening yeah. the assembly. Like it was. I was right at the beginning. Just no way. I started yeah. off the ceremonies. See, I thought I could sing. <laughs> Years later, until you realize. Yeah, you can't sing. There's only well, I mean, no one. Uh, you're never the finished product. Yeah, of course. Obviously, I was probably no, I terrible. <laughs> so you're telling me this? I, I still got some chance. I got a chance. It's never too late. Wow, you guys hear that? I still got a chance. When would you watch this? I still got a chance. And with AI and technology <laughs> now, <laughs> exactly. yo, I'm going. I'm, I'll be out of a job in a few years. <laughs> trust me. No, no, no. No, but this man can genuinely sing. Um, but okay, so take me. Okay, so you, when did you kind of like start taking music seriously? Right, like you said, you started at a young age, like just singing. But when did it become a thing where it's like? Yo, like this is something that I could I think potentially the, do. The first time, and we're quite realistic, yeah. especially with brown parents. So yeah. I met a guy who was a platinum producer, and okay. he had a, he, he he produced a couple of records for some really big names that I really looked up to, yeah. and he took me under his wing. And how I old was we, like how his old Del we, Boy. How old were you at this time? I was like um, about nineteen. Oh wow, nineteen. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, okay. But so, he was the kind of guy that I would introduce to my parents. Got you. I, I sounded wrong. But I would introduce him <laughs> yeah, to my parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even catch that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why, my, my, anyway, yeah. so I introduced him. That sounds wrong as well. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, so. You basically, yeah. I don't know. I just I don't know, why, did it. why are we saying this? <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you so had I, him meet. I was about to say I brought him home. That sounds <laughs> yeah, even worse. Just, yeah. <laughs> We get the point. Just keep, 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 keep. Yeah, so my parents wouldn't take yeah. the music seriously until I was like, oh, but I know this guy who's had like a couple of number ones yeah. and blah, blah. So then when they saw that, then they were like, you know what? Maybe you can go in. Because he took me serious. And that's, I feel like, parents will not take it. They will especially. never take us serious. They'll never take us seriously until they see someone else come in and vouch for it. Or they see someone else do it. Or they see like, yeah, that's 100% sure. So you were... You had just graduated high school at that time then, 19. Co yeah, and then I was going to uni. You were going to uni. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So And it was a bit like, do I go to uni? Yeah. And be a dropout? Yeah. Sorry, okay. or be a dropout. Yeah. 
That's crazy. So that's what I'm saying. So you, and you did go to uni and you did that whole process. So wait, so like you had that choice, but did your parents at all ever like, did you ever think about like just focusing completely on music and not going to well, uni? Well, that's what back? I wanted to do. I, I told them like uni and yeah. education is all a waste of time for me. It just wasn't, yeah. the whole passive learning thing wasn't for me yeah. anyway. So I, yeah. How do they take that though? I mean, that there wasn't, there wasn't a conversation. There's no choice. There's no, you don't you have, have no choice. choice. No, yeah. it's, it's either you finish your education yeah. or you finish your education. 100%. Same with me. Like I always knew I had to go through school and go to law school and yeah. do all these things. I never yeah. had like... That thought never even crossed my mind of like, oh, should I like leave It's this? always the, but the thing is, it's always the excuse of, yeah, but you need a backup plan if nothing yeah. works out. And I'm like, no one ever, whoever gets there yeah. has ever a, has a, a backup, backup plan. plan. That's wow. why it works because yeah. you don't have a backup plan. And that's how it should, in a, in a way. Because you have to put everything yeah. into it. If you know you've yeah. got a backup plan, do you really put your best foot forward? You exactly. don't put everything in. No, no. And when you're doing multiple things at once, you got to like step away that's a lot of people do too many things at it's once. flawed yeah jack of all master yeah, of none yeah. and that's exactly what i was getting myself into when i was doing law doing this doing and it's still i'm still having a hard time trying to figure out my path and trying to figure out what you know what i'm saying because i it, it, there's still so many different paths to it but you're, you're right like you shouldn't i guess you shouldn't have a backup plan that's for those why you that, hear yeah. these stories of like people who come out come from like really humble yeah. beginnings and like they do so well yeah because they literally they find that ultimate that that yeah. focus yeah and you're yeah. not going to get that focus if you're doing law exactly and then you do bloody part-time yeah. job on the side and then doing podcasts exactly. and then yeah, wherever yeah. else exactly yeah exactly no, to fund that and yeah. it's all kind of this it's all a little bit of this and a little yeah. bit of that yeah so you still okay so basically let's go back 19 you so this guy kind of took you under his wing and that's kind of yeah. how it started and then when would you say you when did you first release a, a track or when did you first release? yeah so then i started releasing music start, with, with him. Uh, under him he was my Got mentor you. and you were still at school at this time yeah uh, i was in uni i was in uni what were you studying economics that's so crazy yeah yeah yeah, yeah guys so, for those who don't know zach knight studied economics yeah so i was gonna go into like banking yeah because that's no. where the money is because <laughs> can you imagine that's, that? that's <laughs> what it's about and it's all about money <laughs> i can't even imagine you as a bank like going into yeah. like, investment banking or something like yeah. that and now yeah yeah you're killing it you're singing and all that that's that's super cool yeah yeah, yeah i would have probably been a lot more richer for yeah. sure oh if i doing, went down the bank doing route. that yeah, yeah. But, i don't know maybe who knows but then i would have but then you would have my, hated my you life hated your life and yeah see let me ask you about that do you feel like i feel like oftentimes we're always like forced to not forced but it like pushed we're pushed and swayed especially in our house we're pushed and swayed into going to these traditional roles and these and because that's what's safe that's what's going to give you money even if you're not happy doing it yeah still but they were never happy doing it right yeah so, it's, it's, so then i guess we can't blame them but do you think that's like right do you think it, i feel like it's it's tough because we're not parents yet right yeah but i feel like it's tough because i want my child to succeed and i want them to be and i'm gonna but push is there any that. emphasis on happiness it's a bit like when people get arranged marriages or they get married to someone yeah, yeah. It, there's no is there any happiness they all oh, but you will love them after marriage you know that's it, what they always so say where's yeah, the happiness yeah. in that though yeah, the bad <laughs> yeah like you have you fall in love after so like, i don't you think, we, end I don't up think loving culturally them. we even we even like give happiness time of day wow bro that's so facts we don't do we even talk about happiness? Do we even no, are we, we even allowed we to be happy? To, yeah. When I was when I was like happy, my dad would be like, "What are you laughing about?" Yeah, like, like he was you, serious. Yeah, like what do you like? You still have this left to do. You still have to graduate. You still have to pass this I don't know. exam. I mean, that's not with everyone, yeah, but yeah. for me, it was very. I, I was in a very serious household. Yeah, yeah. It was like you you must become yeah hundred you know, percent something and that, yeah. yeah and that's for what us I, to be proud. That's what I talk about. Yeah, and then but you and it came to it comes to a point where do like do you, you don't know if they'll ever even feel proud because even if you do meet, reach that point yeah. It's like then what's next? It's always yeah, that. It's always, the, it's always it's always that. Yeah. What's next? What's yeah. next? What's and they next? They think they think they're helping you. And, yeah. But to be fair, even the, the thing is with all that pressure, when I finally was able to say to them, "Listen, yeah. I'm doing music full time," and it's starting to go? like work out. How did that go? Then the the satisfaction from that was priceless. Yeah. Of just being able to vocalize it and say it to them, right? But just to be just to get their approval. Yeah, and I, and it kind of. It left. It relieved like this sense the weight of weight like, off your shoulders, yeah. And then you're able to just be free in, in how you're making music and how. And then being... it's like there's no judgment. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like a a marasi yeah. or a, a marasi. We a talked about player. this. Yeah, a marasi, a tabla, Yeah, yeah. No, but they literally used to say to me, yeah, but yeah. music is like you know tabla bajana, like, you know tarek yeah. you know exactly. marasis or you. And I'm yeah. just like, yo, not all musicians are buskers. Yeah, exactly. So like, and I feel like the problem with within our communities, right? This is what kind of happens. It's like, it's it's that it's it's. It's realizing what society is gonna think. A lot of it's what society is gonna think. It's like, oh, Mera Beta, he's mm. becoming a musician. Yeah. 
and then to other people, oh, what are other people going to think about that? Mm. Like, do, did you ever run into those but problems? But that's the thing. They don't even care about, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to start talking shit about stuff for people, but <laughs> no, there's, yeah, no, yeah. there's no <laughs> emphasis on their, on our happiness, but I, don't, I think it's because there's no emphasis on their happiness. Yeah. So they don't care what how they feel about it. They only care about what other people feel about yeah. it. So yeah. that, that makes them unhappy, right? Yeah, so th they're basically putting more focus on what people are going to think. How does that make, the, but what about what they want for their kids? Yeah, and what exactly, we're getting deep, guys. I mean, yo, yo, I mean it's flawed though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is flawed. And then it's like, what exactly do they even know what we want? I don't know, bro, it's just, and what is it that they actually want? Do they want that because they'll earn respect in society or is it more so? Like, and that's where the happiness comes from, respect or yeah, something. Respect I, I don't, which, yeah. we, clearly we don't understand it we don't know, we're not yeah. from the same generation. Yeah, 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 but also we're not parents, so. Yeah. That's yeah. the other thing, you know, it's, it's, uh, I feel like we can all talk about this. We're not parents yeah. and I feel like our life is gonna completely gonna change when we become parents. But so yeah, talk, tell me about, was there any like pushback from the community in the UK sense or from the UK scene, from your family, from yeah. cousins or whatever the case may be like, oh, like why is he focusing on music or why is it? Did to you be ever, fair, a lot the of community, supported? everyone around my parents supported. were actually the ones supporting it and actually the ones saying to my mom and dad, oh, like my amazing. dad, like, yo, like Let they kept, they were like, are you? Because they they actually never agreed to it until their friends told them, no, you know oh, what, He's, wow. he might have something. Wow. Okay. Wow. And actually, I I owe it to them yeah. for even letting them, like yeah. for the for them to encouraging yeah. them, my parents, because it's crazy. I yeah. would have never been allowed if, if because your family, your household was very much more traditional and strict, and yeah. it was like they was like yeah, and like they kind of pushed them to be like yo. Yeah, and when I say allowed, I mean I was allowed to pursue it. Full time, of course. That's what, yeah, full they, time. That's what it without is. Without people, is never. It's yeah. either. It's either part. Yeah. You're allowed to do what you want, but yeah. it's in your own time. Yeah, you're allowed to do After that. After school, but, <laughs> but make sure you're still a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you're still a. You got your investment banker. Make sure you're still a. You still got a yeah. seven figure income. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure that you're still respected in society. <laughs> like, yeah, all this type of stuff. No, that's cool. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> so, when would you say things kind of like? I know your biggest, I feel like the, your biggest hit was definitely Bomb Diggy, yeah, right? And, and that kind stuff, of, with the yeah. Bollywood stuff yeah. and that kind of like, would you say that puts you in a different stratosphere in the sense of so many? It was good timing because it was like, I had a whole, like I had maybe like a 60, you, 60 songs out by that time, or maybe 50, 50, 60 songs by that and time. And so a was lot enough, of them, yeah, and yeah, a lot and of those were even went viral. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of them kind of had little mini yeah. episodes yeah, of yeah, just yeah. like going viral and, and like, yeah. you know, there was a little cult following yeah. growing. And then when the Bollywood thing happened, it was like, just icing on the cake, really. So before the Bollywood thing happened, when did you realize, when did this falling happen? When did it start to like pick up? When I'd did say you with that? the same company with T-Series with India. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, released, released a song called Dire. Okay, gotcha. So, so oh, how did you sign with T-Series? How did that come about? That was really just... Whoa, that's that's huge. At that time, is at huge. the time, it was it was it was yeah. really cool because I mean I remember them from the you know from the movies. Yeah, and of course. The little logo and yeah, that's it's it's iconic. It's huge. Yeah. So wait, and how old were you when you signed with them? That was like earlier, early on or middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. mid twenties. Mid twenties. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, early twenties. Gotcha. Like and how that. did that come about? That was through an agent, I would say. Yeah, well, we 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 just pitched it. Like my manager Kizar, yeah. he he pitched it to a couple of yeah. like labels. Nobody yeah. wanted it. Oh, Not really? even the smaller UK labels wanted it. Really? They were like. They, they didn't even like it. Yeah. Um, and they they were sent yeah. a finished product, like with the video, with, yeah. the, with the all that stuff, drone shots and everything. Yeah. When that wasn't even a thing back then, and then someone from T Series saw it, and um, we met him up in London, and um, they just kind of took yeah. it on and just put it on their platform. Yeah. But I mean, they even even they weren't that excited about it, yeah. really. Which is shocking to me because we were talking about this, and like, there's no one out there that's really doing like that fusion of like singing that pop R&B and then mixing in that desi touch to it, right? Yeah. There's not many people that there were, really there, I mean, there, there was a few other artists at the time that also was also working with them. And yeah. and there've been artists obviously in the past, yeah. um, you know, that have been doing that, that set that formula. But yeah. I think with my music, um, I can definitely say that there's, you know, when it's as, as exact nice. I don't, I don't like talking about nah, myself nah, in nah, third I, person. He, he smiled of course. I said it for him. He <laughs> smiled away. Yeah, it he smiled. <laughs> he smiled. No, he smiled. No, no, no. But you no, know, I, I try and keep this, this sound. And people are like, oh, he sounds the same on every record. And it's like, that's the point. That's because you like that. That's, that's, that's a Zack Knight song. That's a Zack Knight. Yeah, yeah. And you know, a Zack Knight song. Thing I'm is, sure. I just like a certain sound. Yeah, I yeah. can't help it. It's not yeah. like I'm trying to do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just know what I like. And you gravitate towards that. So do something. Yeah. That you so like. I just do what I like. I really don't want to make music just for, yeah. just for numbers. Hundred percent. You know, you, it's a passion project. So when did, when would you say, like, take me through? Because Bomb did like, how did the, we were talking about it a little bit, but I want other people to hear this as well. Like, how did that even come about? Like. Where did it bomb diggy bomb? Like, cause that's part of music. And I'm just like, yeah. bro, it's like so crazy. If you guys actually think about it, like how does someone just come up 
with like how do you just come up with it? How do you come up with the sound? How do you come up with the words, the hook, the lyrics? Well, and how do you just how do you do that? It's a bit like what you're talking about in the sense that we've got this kind of we're, we're trying to we're trying to make music that's supposed to cross generations yeah. and cultures and yeah. languages yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So I'm trying to appeal to people, my people or me. Of course, westernized. I'm western. We're yep. western. We yep. want to make me. We yeah. want to make cool music, right? Of course. But then I'm like, how do I make a song that appeals to people? that don't even understand English. Because yeah. you know in India, like there's yeah, parts that of they don't really even know what, oh, yeah, you know. Course, yeah. And then the same here, we over here, nobody understands Hindi and Urdu yeah. and Punjabi, exactly. really. They yeah, just yeah. like the sound of it. They like the sound of it, 100%. So yeah. I'm like, how do I find a word yeah. or a collection of yeah. words that are hooky, but also you don't even have to understand yeah. what it means. And yeah. you kind of understand what it's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. And, yeah, it's, yeah. and also we talked about it with the, with, 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 the female audience being like the kind of the yeah. tastemakers, but actually it's the it's the kids. They're the ones that know oh, really? whether it's going to be a, whether, whether it's, it's going to be here or not. Whether and, they're going to push it out. And that's gonna... the most important thing with that song. It was like it needed to be catchy, but it needed to be easy yeah. for the kids. Got you. So how did that come? How did Bomb Diggy Bomb? Like how? Did, where did that come from? Like those words? How, where did you? Where did well, that inspiration? There come was from? actually another song called Dum Diddy Dum Dum. Okay. That was kind of inspired by that, but it was also um, there was also another song by Ina. Uh -huh. I've never said this. I've never really yeah, admitted yeah. it. I've, I've never admitted wow, this. Wow, I love this guy. Chai Talk exclusive. <laughs> I love this. But there was a song by Ina called, okay. I think it was called uh, Down or something. And uh -huh. she was like, Down, Diggy Down or something. Okay. She yeah, said, yeah. Down, Diggy Down. And I kind of like the way. Was she a big artist? Who's She's that? a big European, oh, okay, uh, Romanian okay. artist, I think. Gotcha. And she did a song. And she was singing Down, Diggy Down or something like that. Yeah. And I liked the way she said Diggy. Yeah. And I, you know, I like that word. I was yeah. like, okay, I'm. Um, we were obviously I was in the studio and I, I wanted we want I want to talk about um a girl moving her hips. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the whole bomb thing bomb, came from. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and so yeah. bomb, diggy bomb bomb. And then the sound yeah. is just kinda of like you just put it all together. Yeah. And you tell me a little bit like the whole the the diggity like the you like you you kinda of took it back to like I guess the older generation, like like right where you said bum but like the tune of it yeah like diggy kind of sounds like di diggity. Di diggity diggity and it also <laughs> it kind of sounds indian right yeah exactly so it was like maybe it was that consciousness yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, at the time i wasn't conscious of it but i knew i needed something that sounded kind of familiar yeah, to facts. the dialect that, to the yeah. to the language that they use yeah with diggy viggy biggy everything yeah. kind of sounds <laughs> i mean we shy, sound, shy, I, bye, I want, yeah bye. i'm not trying to offend anyone yeah, but like yeah. it kind of has no, that course. sound yeah so if you think about it yeah. it's like we're trying to find a word that's cool, but then still sounds familiar, sounds to, them. familiar to them. I mean, it wow. sounds like science. Yeah. But when it, you actually break it when down. When you break it yeah. down, I'm like, damn, did I really yeah. think that deep? Yeah. Yeah. And just some, some things are also just natural. It just kind of comes out. Yeah, but it, yeah. but we are, I mean, we're an amalgamation of everything we, yeah. we consume. So, of course, facts. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're going to be inspired by yeah. a song, a cult, a, a, everything. And that's why traveling is so important. Going out of your comfort yeah. zone is so important. Seeing new things, new people, talking to new people, all sorts of inspiration. So, yeah, yeah. and that's another thing. You draw inspiration from other people as well. Like me and you having a conversation can definitely spark an inspiration of people out there that are watching something, right? Or yeah. even between us. Like Energies are contagious. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying something that kind of gets me, like, yeah. you know, and that happens all the time. And I feel like that's why a lot of people... And that's my advice to people in the sense of a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of people in union, universities, and school, whatever the case may be. Put yourself out there, meet people, mm. connect, network, and do all those things because that's where you draw inspiration. And, and with mu with musicians, for myself, it's, I always feel like three minutes can change yeah. your life, and you're literally one song away from your life can changing. Wow. Like you could be inspired, you could meet someone, and they could say something, and yeah. then you could literally use that word in a song or or write a song yeah. about it, and that could literally change your life. That's so actually crazy. Yeah, you're actually it's like you're one chess move away from facts. Things just going your way. I don't know. I and, can't explain it. And but. now with TikTok, it's completely changed the game because now I feel like, right, this generation, you now have a platform where you you don't necessarily have to have a following if something's going to hit. I feel like now it's all algorithm based. Yeah. And it's like so many people are starting to blow up in the sense of like, or whatever the case may be. Like like you just said, if you you talk to or you draw inspiration, you you that can change your life. You post it on something. It could literally change your life. Yeah, literally. you could be on the For You page yeah. and see like a dope song. Life. Yeah, And then it, I actually did that. I, I, I did an experiment where I heard this really cool song. I can't remember who, who okay. did it. And then I was like, I really like that vibe. And I just made another song in the same sort of vibe yeah. called Don't Say You Miss Me. And then that kind of went viral too. Yeah. And it was just an experiment for me yeah. to see that, okay, this is what people like. Yeah. Because obviously it's on my For You page. Yeah, yeah. It's trending. Yeah. And I made a song similar. And then that started to trend. And it yeah. was like, okay, so there's a there's a pattern there's here. There's a pattern here, yeah. And then you just pick up on it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, go back. I don't want to go too much astray. Take me back to Bomb Diggity Bomb Bomb. I, I just like saying the whole thing. <laughs> you but like bomb saying diggity, it Yeah, yeah. Um, so when did that kind of... And then I know Bollywood took it into it too. But then you were telling me like they stole it. 
Is that the right way to show? I don't know how much. No, nah, I mean, to be fair, we can say that. Yeah. Um, I'll say it. If, I, yeah. I don't know. No, I don't actually know what actually ha- yeah. happened behind closed doors. Yeah. But For those, by the way, that got a billion, like a billion views on, on T-Series, right? There's on the a, YouTube. On the YouTube. On that you, got like a billion. Yeah. That's just on YouTube. On the but YouTube like, video, yeah. Ev- almost everybody. And then that was also played in a movie. I feel like that was in a movie. I think it was like, uh, right? It was. Uh, yeah, it was in a movie. Yeah, that's the version. That, that's that was the version. That's the version. Like Sono views. Kitito. Yeah. Case, something like that. Yeah, yeah. but we, so I, I licensed it. Well, actually, I, I, I gave it to a label in New York. Uh, and then yeah. that New York label, um, eventually, I don't know how they licensed it to India, to, to T-Series. And you didn't know of this. Well, I was involved in the deal. Yeah. And then they, that, the T-Series actually tried to do the deal with me yeah and i respectfully said if you if you can speak to the label yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be the better the better way to deal Option, with it yeah. and so they went that way that route and then and then i the next thing i know it's an i didn't really i you didn't, didn't you weren't even involved I, in that process I, I, that once once they once i said to them look i don't want to be involved in yeah. the deal because they, there was like a lot of money yeah, being yeah. talked Issues, about yeah, yeah. no there was just a lot of like we'll pay you this and take this yeah, and then yeah. you send us the parts oh, and then we'll okay. and I, I didn't feel comfortable like cutting the person out that I'd yeah, get yeah, I yeah. The, the label in, in, in New York yeah. were the ones kind of handling the handling stuff. it so yeah, I yeah. rather they, they did it and so then yeah and then next thing you know they stopped replying to me they stopped kind of telling me um, you know what was going on yeah I yeah. was, I, I kind of asked them like, have you sent the part? Yeah, we'll let you know once we've sent them. They said to me, we'll let yeah. you know once we've sent the parts. Cause I wasn't sure about the movie, gotcha. but in, in hindsight it all worked out because yeah. they, we took the risk, we took a leap of faith okay. and the movie, and the movie was a hit. So. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, it yeah. Did, I think, I think I saw it. I'm not sure if I remember seeing it. It was actually it, a good yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you saw, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you did I see went, that. I went to see it in the yeah, cinema. You did see it. Okay, that was you. probably the only Bollywood movie I <laughs> yeah, saw cause, yeah. cause I was in it <laughs> or my song was <laughs> in it. song was in it. So then after that, did things start to like change or just things start to pick up? Did you started going to India a bit more? Like how did now yeah, that you kind of yeah. entered into like the Bollywood then space, Then it got right? a few awards and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got right. um, a solo awards. I think it was an yeah. IFRA award for yeah. it, yeah. Uh, for composing. Gotcha. So, yeah. Did you see like, did like what changed after that? Did anything change after that? Like, I think, it? I think like when you go down that route, yeah. it's, you're, you're on a, you're on, you're on a global scale yeah. and it's yeah. just a completely different market. You're yeah. hitting a completely different, different demographic. For People sure. who would have never heard of me. Yeah. Now Facts. you know, I've seen it or heard of it for sure, and and also it helps with like, I think majority a majority of the population kind of yeah. knows that song. So if they if they don't know me as an artist, at least they I can the say song. they'll know the song. Oh, for sure. So that's the great thing about Bollywood. Yeah, they make sure the song gets to where they need to be. Where it needs to get to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you went to so yeah. Did you I guess through that were you able to meet actors and all this type of stuff like go to the IFA Awards? Yeah, I, I spent a lot. I spent quite a lot of time. I feel like. Yeah. Um, at award shows yeah, and yeah, cool. um, backstage yeah. and stuff like that. I met like so was many it, really Was cool there anybody art. that you like were wanting to meet or you were just kind of like, I, I know you weren't probably into Bollywood as much, but was there I anybody wasn't, you were but like? I mean, I mean, obviously there's, they're, they're, half, they're all legends. Um, of course, because I feel like we're so tied to the 90s and yeah. 2000s, right? So like that's yeah. kind of, yeah. So What's then, it? like the Akshay Kumar, from of course. I mean, we grew up to that guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I spent like quite, I had a really long conversation yeah. with him, and he was just so cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was so down. He was just, I mean, he's a legend. I mean, I remember coming to India and seeing him on this massive billboard, billboard. Yeah, yeah, facts. and then you meet these guys, and yeah. they're just so like, just so nice. Exactly. And I met this guy called Varun Dhawan. Yeah, yeah. And he was telling me how he went to Leeds University, and he spent a lot of time in oh, really? like the UK, and okay. it was just felt like yeah. I was chat, I was catching up. Yeah. With someone from the back home in the UK, sure. I, did, I didn't feel like I was in even another another country. Of course, yeah, yeah for sure. And they were sure. in a lot, and some of the, some of them like uh, the the Bobby Dewall, the Sunny Dewall family was yeah. super nice. Oh, like, really? Just nice. Dope. Just you know, it's an energy thing as yeah, well. You just sure. know when like yeah. they're just so they've, and they they they're legends. Like we were kids, we used to watch sure. them. And our our parents watched, yeah, like their fa- like because it's a whole. Like, and then you're in the room with them, and you're just like, dang, yeah, oh, man, like, and and they're just so chilled out. They're chilled, yeah, yeah. yeah. Any like crazy stories of people that you've met or like, I don't know, in that in that Bollywood space? Or was there anything like um, anything you cover that you remember or anybody that you like were excited to meet? I mean, no, you just kind of mentioned that. But was there anything like or like was there any moment? Was there any moment that you felt like, dang, like I'm here. I'm at this space. I kind of made it. Like, you know, was there any moment in that in that party? In that a way, had? I was actually in the part. I was in a party in the same uh, after the IFA Awards. Yeah. I was at the after party. Okay. And this lady just came up to me and she was like, who the hell are you? Okay. Because at that party, there was literally only the the main, wow. the people, the, the stars of the yeah. party or like the managers. And I would, the, some lady just came up to me and she was like, what? who are you? Yeah. And what are you doing here? 
she just genuinely asked me and it came across a little bit rude but i i mentioned to her like i did this song yeah, i'm yeah. nominated whatever and like, Why that here? was the moment i was like clearly to be here you gotta be somebody you gotta be somebody and gotcha. that was the moment i was gotcha. like okay wow well, so we've yeah but we've done something right got you facts but yeah, i mean yeah. i've i've never been about i've i've never i don't network i'm the yeah. worst at like yeah. even responding to text messages let you. alone going to industry you. events yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm just a, this geek i say geek i'm just nerdy guy in my yeah. room i just like to make music just great escaping make music. my world yeah, yeah, exactly 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 no which is good which is dope and that's kind of why you kind of are where you are today and what the music that you kind of made yeah, but it's it. nice yeah. to step out of the studio of and and go to these little. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm and... not. I'm sure you're not just stuck in your room all day, and just unless you are just stuck in your room. I, I usually, I usually <laughs> am stuck in my room all day, and I, I choose to be. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know, that's good. Yeah, that's and good. I, I kind of keep my. You know, yeah. I don't have many friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, you gotta come. come my come best with... friend right now is ChatGPT. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, fun fact: this guy was telling me like. This guy was bringing up all like this legal terms to me, and I'm like, bro, like, how do you know so much? But bro, this guy literally is as if he went to law school. Like, he was like naming words yeah. and stuff, and I'm like, talking about negligence, talking about yeah. this, talking about that, and duty I'm like, of care. duty of care, <laughs> stop one. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. he he took me back to law school. I'm like, yo, hold up, let me kind of dig back into like, yo, but that's cool. But it's it's cool to see like, no, because Marshall, I feel like you are also very educated, and like a lot of people probably don't even know that you finished university, you went there, you study economics, but you're still pursuing something that you love to do and what yeah. you love and your passion what it is and like i feel like that a lot of times in our communities that's that's one of those things where i feel like now people are starting to do it more but back then it wasn't like a thing like us making videos or content it wasn't like a thing no, yeah. it's like you it laughed at you're, yeah laughed at you're shot it's like you shouldn't be doing it it's not respect look he's making videos or doing this and doing mm. that it's like in our community it's not one of those things mm. but for you to kind of have that courage and choose your passion. But I think we talk about in economics. I did economics yeah. at uni and we talk, we, we call it early movers advantage. Yeah. So the guys that are the first to the market yeah. are the ones that get the largest market uh, share. Yeah. So yeah. And not to turn this into a, yeah. a education. Economic, yeah, podcast, yeah. No, no, I love it. Oh, we but, talk all sorts of things. But like, it, it, and it's literally yeah. that you don't even need to be that good. But if, as long as you're like the first five in the, yeah. in the market, yeah. You tend to get like you still get t retain market share. Gotcha. So what that basically means in legal in legal in English terms, English terms. is um, I was able to sustain my music career yeah. long enough because you even were, though I barely released much yeah. music in the past four years, really. Yeah, yeah. But, but because, because I was early, yeah. I started eight years ago. And when you were saying about the whole, we were we were yeah, made yeah. fun out of for doing content yeah, yeah. eight years ago. Yeah, it was unheard of. It was yeah to exactly. be even doing YouTube and, as a brown person. And people are like, oh, you can make money off this or you're doing this or yeah. like, yeah. And now it's and, like- I mean like, people, that's why I have a lot of respect for people like Adam because yeah. he was doing it at a time where no one, many, there was literally no one. Yeah. And he was like the most watched guy yeah. on YouTube, yeah. let alone eth amongst the ethnic communities. 100%, 100%. And that's where it's like, yeah, no, exactly. And like, now I feel like it's more accepted. Now I feel like people are starting to become more my open to it. My own mum, when I knew when my mum said to me, oh, like this but this son, this daughter, they yeah. want to do music. Exactly. They want to, and then it started to become cool. Yeah. Because yeah, right? Once the, so more many people years are doing later. It. Yeah, when more people are doing it, they now familiar person knows. And actually my mum felt a bit silly mm. um, to mock me all them years about exactly. why I wanted to do it. And yeah. she actually started to like respect me, the fact that I actually was trying to do it early on early when on. nobody wanted to do it. So she, you guys both had that realization and she had that realization, right? That's amazing. She though. said it herself. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. She even said that, that to such you. and such daughter and such and such son is trying yeah. to do music. And, and she's just hearing it through the grapevine and yeah. it's like yeah. through the community, yeah, yeah. she's hearing about all these other people's children. Yeah. Who want to do the same thing That's I'm crazy. doing, and now she's yeah. like, I'm so glad that you did it. Early you did on it those earlier days. on because yeah. now you're a, you're a lot more yeah. respected. So would you say? Okay, tell me this. I know a lot of people are like it's tough, right? Because it's like if an individual were to take that risk and do something they love and are passionate about, then they probably don't have that security net. Say it doesn't work out, then what? Right. So I think parents are always like pushing us to do those traditional roles and traditional stuff because they just want us to be secure. And for us to be safe, right? Even if that's not something we love doing, even though we're not passionate about that. So, I mean, maybe as maybe answer like, how would you deal with it as a parent? Like, how would you like, like, what's the balance? Like, do you as a kid, right? Whoever's going through this, whoever's watching, this, if they're in school and like, maybe they don't love what they're doing, but they know their parents want them to do this. Like, do you choose your passionate side of things? Do you choose that, or do you choose? And people ask me this too, and I don't have a direct answer <laughs> because I'm also like, bro, like. I'm also like, yeah, bro, finish school, but also you have that backup, but like, I, yeah. I, or I don't know, like, what do you think? Like, are you supposed to, are you supposed to be happy? Like, like you know? Yeah, we're going back full circle. Are, you, <laughs> well, are we supposed to be happy? 
Like, I don't know. Like, or are you just but supposed you know to do what? what's secure and safe? I think I think I, I look at it completely differently. I feel like our culture is so focused on financial security. Yeah, yeah. But what about mental security? It doesn't exist, bro. Mental security doesn't exist. Bro, that only... What if I'm in a job thing. I don't want to... I hate... John and, then I, and then... Yeah, and yeah, then go and on then, for a walk. And then I become suicidal or something at the end oh, of it. yeah. Facts. They don't... They think... Or I don't... Like, it's like, it's normal to them, bro. It's like... Oh, everybody but, but got. Why, but why everybody are we so focused this? on fine on money? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, I get it, right? I get it. It's easy for me to say. It's easy yeah. for us to say sitting in Dubai yeah. in some fancy hotel, <laughs> Yo, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like they, they're gonna be like, these guys got first world problems. Yeah. We're living. Right? We're sitting in Dubai recording this episode. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that for sure. But but it is easy for us to say that. Yeah. But yeah. but at the same time, why are we so focused on that? And why are we not focused on like? You know what it is, though? Like you said, if I was a parent, yeah. I wouldn't be focused on that. But you know what it is, though? I think, uh, let me try to play devil's advocate or trying to talk about the parents in this situation. I think it's because they have gone through life seeing how difficult it is when they don't have money to then that is the only thing they attach themselves yeah. to. Right? Because that's, li that's literally the only, they realize like, They've seen all these things through their life and seen how difficult it is because they didn't have money or seen how easy it is if they did have money. You know what I'm saying? Like they've gone through all these things in life. And maybe that's why in our community, there's such a huge attachment to that financial security because of those reasons. Well, because it, of, we came, well, we came from poor, poor countries. So yeah, obviously exactly. Exactly. When right? you see it around you, that's all you focus exactly. on. Exactly. It's like traveling to the UK to become something or, yeah. or our, my parents coming to America and whatnot to become something. So I feel like yeah. I feel like maybe that's part of it and yeah. that's a lot of it. Whereas in the like, West and in, in America and England, I mean, no, no, you don't see people like struggling, like asking ex for exactly. handouts. Exactly. So, yeah, stuff. so that's why it's like, I get it in a sense, but it's also like, you're so right. When will I ever our community ever focus on that mental aspect of like, yo, are you happy? Like, yo, are you even like, do you enjoy what you're doing? Or do you like, you know what I mean? Like, when yeah. will that, yeah, I don't think that's, I don't know. Maybe it's our generation that's going to change that, right? Yeah, Maybe it's 100%. our generation. Because the previous generation is so focused on that respect and financial security piece, which is why it's like, it's that's the main focus, I feel like, yeah. I think it all comes down to that. Yeah, no, it's crazy. It's and maybe crazy. and also maybe because culturally we're supposed to like look after our parents when we get older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's like they're probably thinking about their pension. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're gonna get paid out, so the kids can start paying for I it as well. I brought you to the UK. I brought you to America. Yeah, that's to why become I remind something you for, every yeah, single day what I did for you. Hundred percent. Nah, we're, we're, I mean I'm, exactly. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure I, get it, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because I do this. I uh, we talk about this all the time, and it's just so dope how I feel like no matter what part of the world we are in, but we brown yeah. people can relate. Yeah, bro, we can relate. That's what's so crazy. We all can relate, and it's like the parents are the same. But that's probably why same. actually they, because in where I live, right, there's this road called the Manor Road. Yeah, and it's it's famous for like these big houses, and all the brown families yeah. all live in the family together. Oh wow! And so my friends have this joke where they're always like, "Oh, you know why all the brown people have big houses? Because yeah. they all live, they all pool their they funds together, together and live on one and house, and they all live in one house. That happens and, a lot in the UK, and that's why they're like, rich. Yeah. Is that not in America? No, we don't do that in America. Okay. Do you think? No, Adam, do you think we do that? I don't know but isn't that something that they do back home anyway? It is. It is. I feel like a lot of families all live together in that one house, they will or they'll save buy, money and, or they'll buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but they're saving money that way. I don't know. Maybe I haven't seen it, but a lot of back home they do that. I feel like in the UK they probably do that more. Maybe some parts of America, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do do that. Yeah. So they don't have like the. the I do know of actually a friend that like their family is like the, all the together. guy and the wife and everyone moves in and they all live in under the parents' house. Bro, I feel like that's now. No, I feel like that's changing, dude. Wow, I feel, I feel old. Like that's changing. No, I feel that's old now. No, that, no, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like it's probably like in the UK. Do you feel like a lot of people once they get married, they're living with the parents though? Hundred percent. Really? Yeah. Good really? friends of mine live with their parents still. And that's nothing wrong no, no, with it. Nothing, no, nothing yeah. wrong with it. But yeah. my question is this: Do the women? Do, are they? Do, do they oppose that? Do they like? I feel like. Let me tell you this. I feel like in America, at least, in our generation, I feel like a lot of them are like, no, can't live with the in-laws. I need to like. I need that sense of space. That's that the privacy. Thing, I think. Yeah, that there's a specific type of girl. I think that yeah. that's cool with it. Yeah. Because a I lot of them a, don't. A, a lot of them don't want to do that. Yeah, right? Exactly. Or they're, they're buying time. But would you say in the UK, more than not, more people are actually all living under the same roof, under the same house, right? Yeah, I think within the, the yeah. community, it's, it's normalized. Yeah. Yeah, 100% normalized. I feel like now maybe we're starting to, maybe in America, I, maybe, yeah, it's, it's cool to see. But the Americans world. are definitely more progressive. Yeah. You guys have like the latest, like it takes five years before we get the new the gadget yeah, and all the, all the technological yeah, yeah, maybe, advances maybe, maybe, that maybe. you get, we don't get yeah, in the UK. Yeah. It's actually crazy too, because I feel like UK, they see and Pakistanis are different from yeah it's so it's actually yeah yeah well tell me this we're, we're more traditional 
You guys are probably. I mean, yeah, I, I think so. Possibly, right? I think, I think, I think so. I think so. Well, I've seen, but you know what know. that is? I feel like you know why? Because I feel like UK has such a huge population of thisies. Yeah. Right. Where it's almost as if they never even left their homeland. All playing the comparison They're, game. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Right. <laughs> I feel like they never really left. And that, with us, it's I feel like, bro, where we grew up, it was it was just like. We were one of like some very small family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We didn't have that culture, this community around us. I feel like UK is much more. It's a yeah. huge, huge community, right? Yeah. It, ke- yeah. it keeps the culture alive. Yeah. 100%, really, really, everyone 100%. is brown in the, in the like in the neighborhood. So speaking of my in-laws, all right. Speaking of my in-laws, tell yeah. me, tell me, tell me this. Look, I'm looking at your hair, my brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at your hair. I don't. Yo, know. I'm in Dubai, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Even a- <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm looking at his hand. Yo, I don't see no ring. I don't, I don't, I don't see no, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see no wedding band. I don't see no ring. Hey, yeah, you're so, doing exactly what <laughs> everyone does before you. <laughs> so tell me, has there been that pressure from, from your mom, from your parents? Like, has yeah. there been that pressure yeah. to like, yeah, yeah, it has. Uh, I think that's the thing, right? So as soon as you, you, you're secure within your job, yeah. the next step, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Why are like, why, why you not getting married? You're, yeah. you're, you know, you've, yeah. You're old enough, and yeah. you've got your life in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Words, so. First, it's always school. Let them yeah. finish school, but then as soon as you graduate, yeah. as soon as you got that together, yeah. yeah. And I, have, I, I definitely, I definitely think having a good person in your life is yeah. is gonna yeah. make yeah, hundred percent. It's gonna help you, yeah. Because otherwise, we'd be like, you know, out it's probably, there. It's just probably hard to come across, though, huh? Yeah. I feel like nowadays, it's hard to come across. Yeah. So why is it Zach Knight? <laughs> yeah, why is it? Look at this guy. Catch this guy. Yeah. <laughs> It's he's like he's like it's change the, change the topic. Change the yeah, topic. Like, yeah, let's move no, on. No, from no, that. Like, yeah, exactly. yeah. no, bro. It's just funny because it's like I, that's like the huge thing. That's always a thing, right? Especially within our culture, it's yeah. like get married, get married, I, get married. I, listen, I did a Q and A like a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and the, like the eighty percent of when the questions married, was, but when are you married or when you get married? Literally, literally. I, I was like, I thought I was looking. You guys were interested in my music. I, I, yeah, I thought my mom was the one asking this. Why <laughs> yeah. is everyone also asking this? Literally, yeah. that happens to me all the time. Whenever I go on. Social media, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? When are you getting married? That's just, I think that's just like the fascination with marriage is just like within our culture is definitely prominent. Yeah. Just one of those things. But I think everybody has their time. And inshallah, you know, Adam is still single. <laughs> you guys are just, you know, we're all, <laughs> our parents are all making the offer for us. There's married. a reason why we're here. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, no, it's dope. I don't want to, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to see if there was, I think we kind of touched almost everything that I kind of wanted to talk about. The whole It's hard stuff. to take it serious because we're so <laughs> Exactly like this guy. Kind of like, <laughs> this, man, this man turns it into controversy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no controversy, bro. There's no, I'm not trying to get We're the taking shots at moms, bro, coaches. Bro, UK Dissies. Bro, there's no controversy at all, bro. But generally, guys, try, uh, guys, uh, one thing that they know about chat talk is there's always, we just talk, bro. Yeah. If it leads to controversy. It's hard for me to Yo, take it. Yo, as soon as I bring up the marriage topic, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. I feel like, hey, we're just, at, maybe this is where our version of our parents are just gossip, talking. We're, our, they, we're the uncles and aunties, right? Yeah. Do you feel like when you grow up, when you do get married, inshallah, right? And when do you feel like we're gonna be the same way our parents are, and like we're gonna end up saying the same things that they would say to us, lecture about the same things? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of feel right? like we're, yeah. we're, we're, we are gonna, gonna be, have that yeah. realization. Yeah, because you know what? I, on a serious note, like they have way more life experience. They've been around facts. longer. Yeah, facts. We can know, we can know everything. Yeah. but yeah. I feel like they, yeah, they've seen it all because. They know people. Yeah, exactly. Better than yeah. we do. Yeah. They've lived yeah. longer. Yeah. You even can't though, deny it. Even though we, we sometimes always say like, yo, mom, you don't know this or you that you don't know. Because like, they're old and this you, and that. You don't know this. You guys didn't grow up. No. But at the end of the day, I feel like we do have to take that for, yeah, we probably take that for granted. That we do have to realize that they have life experiences and they, yeah. They don't make rash decisions and yeah. they don't, I, I just feel like they, like when they give us that whole advice, like sleep on it, yeah. wait tomorrow. Like we just want to get it done we now, right? We're facts. the t- TikTok yeah. generation. Yeah. They're like, they wait. Yeah. They for talk sure. about it. They think about it. For sure. For we sure. Do, we don't even do that for anymore. Sure. For sure. For sure. Another thing, as we're talking about this, uh, again, this is like shout out to parents, right? When you, I think we kind of had similar situations in the sense of you moved out for university, right? You lived on your own. Yeah. And then there's a period when after you graduated, you came back. Yeah. Right. And I feel like now well, I was coerced into going back home. Yeah. Because co- I, well, I was looking for a, I was looking for a house for them. And yep. that, yeah. Yep. And I, my kind of similar situation. But he was telling me like you, you feel like 
in that time when you were actually with your, back with your parents, yeah, living with your parents versus on your own, yeah, you kind of felt like there was probably more blessings in that, and there was much yeah. more like rap, whatever. There was much more like, but right? Like, there was this maternal. I don't know if it's a maternal or yeah, like it's, a, it's just this just the spiritual parental thing. energy yeah. when you're with your parents and your parents are around. Yeah, that your life is like probably. You don't realize it now, but maybe when you look back at it, yeah. you realize your life is probably in the best or like whatever it may be when you are with your parents, when you are around your parents, and like maybe there's this this, this protective energy or something. Yeah. I don't I don't know. It's I'm, all the duas and all the yeah funke and yeah. all this stuff. Our parents are my mom be reading and doing yeah. this and blowing in, in the air. middle of the night. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> reading. Did do, do, do they did you do your, did your mom do yeah. that too? Like yeah, she did the middle of the night. Yeah, my yeah. dad. Yeah, you used to do a lot of prayers in the middle of the night. Read all the sudas. Yeah, yeah, all the time, every exactly. day doing dua for me. Yeah. So because I feel like honestly, I do get caught up, and maybe this is my moment where I'm like in that phase where it's like, ah, oh, like it's tough for me being back home. It's tough for me to like you know I. I I miss my independence, my space. And like, I feel like they're just always overbearing or asking where you're going, when you're coming home, this and that. Yeah. But I feel like there's, maybe I, I am taking it for granted in a sense where it's like, maybe I don't realize how special it is to have your mom by your side and your dad always by your side, whatever the case may be, seeing them every day. I know maybe I'm at this phase where like, oh, I want to get out, I want to move out. But it's like, you, you, you realize, and you said, you talked about it after you kind of moved out when you're on your own. Yeah. You realize like your career was at the best Mm. Your whatever the case may be, it was all yeah. the best when you were surrounded with your family and your parents. I felt I felt more fulfilled in a weird yeah. way. Like I felt more complete. Yeah, sounds yeah. so corny. Yeah, no, like, no. I felt no, like facts. when you're with your family unit, yeah. of course, like yeah. you, you, they brought you up. Yeah, exactly. You lived your, you lived more, yeah. the most of your most of your life with them. Yeah. So you are gonna feel a bit empty when you're living yeah. on your own. And yeah, this, yeah. Like when I moved out, it took me like two years to even like get used to sleeping on my own without yeah. my mom shouting from the from the downstairs yeah, like yeah, Kana is ready. Kana ready. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you just miss that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, hundred percent. I'm that, like, yeah, yeah. She used exactly. to shout at me, but that was just their way of. Yeah. yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah. I have no one shouting at me right now. Exactly. I'm just like you just, like, just be sitting like, in here yeah, in my exactly. pajamas. And then you take that for granted. Yeah, maybe yeah. I should just also. And I feel like for people that are in my situation or feeling that sense of like, man, I want to be like whatever. Like my mom hates that word when I say boundaries or setting boundaries, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, they no, don't they, know what that is. They don't yeah. knock, they just walk straight yeah, in. Yeah, they, they don't yeah. know what that is. But, <laughs> it's like, what is yeah. but I mean, then again, we can't blame them. And it's just like one of those things, like just be grateful to have, yeah, I guess parents around. I mean, some family. people don't have parents, so. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and that's a lesson for me. So Mama G, if you're watching this, I know you're watching this. I will try to be better. I will try to be more appreciative. And I guess, yeah, when I do have my own kids, I'll realize how tough it is and whatnot. Like we said, we have our own kids and we realize how tough it is. But let's end on this. What's your favorite desi food, Pakistani food? I don't really eat you much desi food, but actually I think samosas. That? Samosas? Because they're the most unhealthiest. Okay, what about des uh, what about dessert-wise? Kulfi. I love kulfi. Kulfi is so far, but I love kulfi. And kid. Kid yeah. hits for me too. Yeah, kid hits for me too. Yeah. Any last things you want to say? Any last things that we, that we didn't touch on or things that you feel like? I, I, I still love my culture. Yeah, of course. You know, and actually I think if it wasn't for them, my parents being hard on yeah. me, I don't even think I'd be sitting here right now. Facts. So yeah. shout yeah. out to the, like your mama, your mama G. And exactly. Shout, shout out honestly, to everyone, we everyone's parents. Everyone's you know? parents, man. Honestly, man, if you guys are kids, if you guys are watching right now, go and hug your parent. Go and say I love you to them. Give them a kiss. And ultimately that's what it comes down to. I know a lot of episodes, my mom and I go back and forth. I argue this and that, but ultimately we are where we are today. Because of them, because right? Because of them. Because we of are, them. We are, yeah. we are them. Literally, literally. And I'm sitting here in Dubai. I'm filming a podcast episode with Zach Knight, and he's just got done filming his music video yeah. and making music and creating art. And alhamdulillah for everything, bro. It's amazing. It's amazing. 100%. But thank you, bro. Thank you for joining. This Chai Talk episode is very, very special. I feel like we got deep. We got to get to know you a bit more, a bit better. Thank you for sharing your stories. Um, and yeah, man, you got to get married soon. <laughs> so I'm like, this guy. One day. <laughs> because... <laughs> Get married soon, man. My Get mom better not watch this. <laughs> yeah, yo, your mama, if your mama G's watching this, shadi kara deski, shadi Please stop. She, just, she doesn't stop. She, she doesn't stop, right? Oh, that's so funny. Anyways, y'all, thank you for tuning in. Much love. Go ahead and check. When's your single? When is it coming out? When's your guys' song coming out? After can, Eid. Can we, yeah, Eid. After, after Eid? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, after Eid time, yeah. You won't let us know the name of the song? Guys, I'll just let you know it is such a shit. It's related to Dubai and it's like the most used word in Dubai. It's the most used word. Okay, okay. I feel like it's used almost everywhere. I use it a lot. We all it's use every, it. Yeah, it's, it's used everywhere. It. I mean, it's here, everywhere. everyone uses it. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. But I can't wait. So stay tuned when that drops. Oh, wait. Other thing is, guys, this dude is such good at, like, Gwali. You got to drop, like, bro, 
You gotta make a quality tune coming 100%. out soon. You really gotta yeah. come make a quality tune. You gotta come out whatever, maybe travel to Pakistan or whatnot. But you gotta make a quality tune because when I heard it, bro, it was sick. It was yeah. it was genuinely sick. So come out with that. So if he does come out with that, then remember this episode. Shout out to Jack Talk. But thank you for joining, and I'll see you guys for next episode. Again, it was a very very special one. Thank you again, man. No, it was good. Shout out. Oh, did, did it just all oh, that died. Perfect timing. That's what happened to me last time. Oh my God, look at guys, <laughs> the camera just died. Stay blessed and always, always, always stay beautiful. Appreciate it. My brother, appreciate you. That was man. good, man. That was perfect. That was an I didn't, I didn't even realize we were filming, to be honest. Oh yeah, we were just talking. Oh,